Oh, welcome back to Darth Mod, Poland Lithuania campaign. I've got to start with an apology, really, because the video before this is taking ages to upload. I really don't know what's the matter with it. Um, uh, I had it seemed to be taking ages and ages the first attempt, so I cancelled it. When I tried to do it again, it seemed to think, "Oh, right, I'll carry on doing it," even though I'd cancelled it. So it went through its motions, and oh, I don't know. It didn't seem to appear at all. So there's obviously some kind of a fault there. Um, I'm going to have to have another go at that. Um, back to the old problems, I think. But anyhow, um, I, I, it was going on late anyway because I'd, um, the battle that I was doing went over a night, you know, so I finished it off the following day. So I'm a little bit late. I'm a couple of days without putting anything up here. Anyway, here's my situation in, uh, in India. I've been trying to figure out what to do here with all of this. Um, there's an army there. Um, that's moved into my territory. I've got an army here. If I, to, uh, if I was to add a general to it, I ought to be able to get into his territory. So I, I want to get him out of the way first, just in case he's going to impede movement a little bit. I've noticed that we are in, in uh, we are now Roman Catholic in here. Um, it's on the increase at 1.4. We're only 45%. There's nothing in here trying to convert it back so I should be okay uh, and I've got um, a, a seminary in there as well so so I, I think it should increase even if I'm no longer in there so I'm gonna get him out of there and I'm gonna send him over to here uh, I just want to have a look at that place just to see whoops let's speed that up a little bit maybe I should have taken him through places as well but ah there's another one there isn't there no okay uh, hmm, I wonder what I've got here. I wonder if I've got anybody I can bring round yet. I don't think the recruitment's finished yet, has it? I've got two in there. I've got these ready to come on, haven't I? I think, hmm, I might get another couple in there as well, actually, for next turn. What else can we have? <laughs> oh, the puckle guns again. People are keen on puckle guns. These are 24 pounders. I'm, I'm waiting for those to come out, really, aren't I? Um. I might as well fill up these though, definitely, rather than have nothing, because I will need more troops in India. Um, tempted. These are 24 pounder foot artilleries now. If I should get those. Now, I, I want something that really that's going to take just. Um, I, I think I'm going to have to get a horse, just normal horse, because um, I, I think that's what I'm going to do. Oh, actually, I've got space for another one. Well. I oh know I haven't actually. No, now I'm down to two. So no, okay, ignore that. Anyway, the reason why I came back here <laughs> was, um, if I remind myself, ah, I thought I had a ship. Why haven't I got a ship in there? Am I recruiting in there? No, I don't seem to be. Am I recruiting in here? No, I'm not recruiting any. I don't know where my ship's gone from there. Normally I have a ship in there. So that's um, a little bit disconcerting. I wonder if I'd moved them through to here and then forgot all about them. I think I have, you know. What have I got in there in terms of army? Just one. Uh, maybe I moved some men over there before, did I? But anyway, let's get the navy out of here. Hang on a minute. These are India men. Did I not move my India men from last time? Oh, a couple of extra India men there. I wonder if I've forgotten a couple of India men. Do you remember I was doing all my um, filling up all my trade hubs before? How odd. See that? I wonder if I've just forgotten about a couple of India men. Those there. Oh, I don't know why I haven't noticed those before. Two India men. Oh, right, I'm going to have to just check the uh, trade hub. Sorry about this, folks. <laughs> just to find out which one is missing two ships. That one's okay. And... That one's okay. Where am I missing two ships from? Or did I just raise two too many? Well, they could do with some, couldn't they? That's the Ivory Coast. Hmm, they could actually. Okay. So I'll send two to the Ivory Coast. What about the coast of Brazil? And they're okay as well, aren't they? Okay. I don't think I can get any more than that. It shows I can get more in there, doesn't it, though, actually? Do I send them to the Ivory... I think I'm going to send them to the Ivory Coast. 
which was here, wasn't it? That one there. Okay, I don't know what went wrong there, unless I'm still waiting for ships to arrive. I could well be waiting for some more ships to arrive. But they're wasted anyway, so I'm getting those out of there. That's just a complete waste of time having those in there. Uh, right. And I'll send them to... Which is the best way to get to the Ivory Coast, to Africa from India? Ivory Coast is that side. Uh, let's have a double check of the world. We're here. One, two, three. Here it's one, two... I think it's going to be that way, don't you? We'll send them that way. Okay. Right. Where are you now? <laughs> oh dear me, where are you? Okay, you're here. Good. Now, cool, that was a waste of everybody's time, wasn't it? Sorry about that. Uh, get those going off to the Ivory Coast, which is that one, I hope. doesn't tell me, does it, on there? It just says Trade Theatre. East Africa. West Africa. Well, I'm going to West Africa. West Africa, anyway. Is this the quickest, really? One, two... I think it is, isn't it? One, two... Um, I think I've gone the wrong way, you know, I've gone to here. So I'm going to go... One, two, three... Oh, dear, what am I playing at? Um, I've blow it. I, I, I'm sure that's the Ivory Coast. I don't know why I've decided to go that way around, because it doesn't make sense to me now I've looked at it. Maybe it's because I thought you had to go through these other trade theatres or something. I, I just don't know what I've done there. But anyway, main thing is I'm getting those out of there, and it's just a waste having them in there. What I actually wanted was a sloop, and the reason why I want a sloop is I want to get my gentleman out of here, uh, out of Ceylon. And the reason why I want to get him out of Ceylon is a gentleman is only any use to me now when he's killing people. So... Let's get him. Right. Out of here. Right, okay. And... Agent. Okay. Right, now, if I click him now... Click that. He should be on the ship. Right, good. Because it's different for agents, isn't it? Okay. And then if I bring him round, say, to here, into that port there, I should, with a little bit of luck, right, should be able to get him out of there. Oh, yeah, look, I can get all... Oh, no, I can't. That's because he's in my way. What a nuisance that is, eh? Ah! Oh, we'll kill him then. Oh, I can't kill it. No, it's my own man! Ah, oh, you fool! Look, he's in my way! Oh, how stupid is that? Um, I can't... <laughs> oh, this is stupid. Um, <laughs> right. Um... I think I'm going to have to um, put him back on the ship, right, and send the ship a little bit further. Let's send the ship to here and let him off. Let him off here. Right. Okay. I know it's going to take me a while, but he could have gone that way. I mean, he's still got to wait another turn anyway. But it was worth trying, wasn't it? You never know your luck. Okay, next turn, I hope to bring troops from here, so I'm going to put that sloop in here. Okay. Now, I wonder if there's a port here that needs a sloop in it. No, I don't think there is, actually, to be honest, because I can move these sloops around, can't I? I don't think he's going to repair that, you know, so I'm going to leave my sloop in here. I've got my massive navy in here as well. There's nothing going to bother me there anymore, is there? None at all. I wonder if I've got any more gentlemen in India. Let's just have a quick check. Any other agents? Agents? Um, right, gentlemen. Got any in India? Calcutta? I've got one in Calcutta. 
Where's that one? No. Nope. Uh, no, that's not it. Gujarat. Oh, he's the one I've moved. Right. Uh, Heidelberg. No, no. Oh, these are rakes now. No. Um, the rakes, I know, I, can't, I haven't got any, so in the place where I want them. But there is one in Calcutta. Where's he gone now? Gentlemen, 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 where are you? Right. Okay, let's have him as well. See, like I said, they're useless now to me because they can't... Um, I don't know, they, they can't do anything at all, really. They're just totally... Um, yeah, I wonder if I can move him. All I can do now is kill people. That's basically what I wanted to say. What is that? Uh, that's, ah, now that's Moogle as well. I could... I could have landed him in there. It's only a fishing port, isn't it? I wonder if I can take the Calcutta one and land him all the way there. Worth a try, isn't it? Right. Okay. Now, let's put him on the Navy and bring him over to this one. What I want to do, you see, is look at these places, find out what's going on, you know. That looks... Da that is damaged. Interesting, isn't it? I'd forgotten I'd damaged that one. Yeah. I might have to juggle these boats around again after this. He's coming a long way around, isn't he? I know they can't sabotage anything, but really, to be honest, my rakes are being used as spies anyway, but... I just want to be able to spy on these areas. Let's find out what sort of state they're in. Right. Okay. Oh, where is he now? See, this is the weird thing about these agents. They disappear. Um, where on earth has he now gone? I don't understand. Right, okay, let's just take the ship out of there for a minute. Okay. Is he there still on the ship? He's still on the ship, isn't he? Right, let's get that ship back into there. Agent. There. Off. <laughs> it's a joke, isn't it? Okay, let's find him some, some other way. Uh, agents. Now, it's going to be in India somewhere, that's all we know. Adriatic Sea, could it be that? No, Arabian Sea, not Adriatic. Well, there he is. All I can think of is bringing him into here. So yes, right, brilliant. Seems to be the only way we can find him. I wonder if there's somewhere we, someone we can assassinate here. Nothing at all. No one at all. Well, let's just bring him round here then. Let's see what we can see. 409 is all they're getting. They're on a 7. There's nobody at all in that building. Nobody in those buildings. Look at that. Crikey. Okay. Um, it's looking like a poor defence as well, but it's not a wealthy area. Okay, let's get the ship back then. Don't think I need that leaving there. And can I get him all the way around? These ships move incredibly, don't they? No, I can't actually. I could probably get him to there though. I can. Okay, let's get him to there then. And then let's take this ship out of here and put this one in Calcutta if he can reach. Almost. Oh, is there another ship he can change with? No, not at all. Any more around here? Nope, no others. He could go back to there, and then that sloop could go all the way around. Yep, I think that's what we're going to have to do. I know it sounds stupid, but it would be nice to have a sloop over there in Calcutta. Just in case I need to swap troops around, because the benefit of Calcutta is that it can recruit some pretty decent troops. Right, OK, so I've now got a sloop in there, and I've got this sloop here. That sloop can't move any further, but this one that's in here can move. That one can go over here and join these, can't it? Okay, and that might be a useful sloop in the future, but to be frank, I don't think I really need it there. Let's just move it somewhere in the middle. How about there? That'll be better. 
I, I just need something that can move around, you see, swap around and, you know, cover different ports to move troops, particularly from over here in Ceylon, you know, when we get these extra recruits through. Okay, crikey, mate, well, that's a lot of messing about, isn't it? Fifteen minutes worth of messing about there. Sorry about that, I thought I was uh, a, bit, a bit more on the ball than that. But, um, what I'd like to do, very much, is I'd like to see what's in there, as well as what's in there. Now, I've got him going that way now, so I'm going to get him, perhaps, to go this way. So we can have a look right. over here. Uh, yeah. I just want to see what, what numbers he's got behind these front lines, because he looks quite strong, doesn't he, on these front lines? And uh, I want to do something about that, really. Okay, um... Let's see what we can do now. I want to... You see, these are going to come on as reinforcements. I'm thinking about attacking these, you see, um, with my rearward army. That's these here. Uh, now, it's a pretty decent army. Uh, it's fully replenished now. These are the ones I moved to the back, if you remember. They were here, and I, I sifted them all off to the back so that I could get them all uh, replenished. In fact, those guys there, they're not being replenished. So I must remember, after this battle, to replenish those troops afterwards. Um, in fact, it might be an idea to juggle them around now. Um, so I've got some full units. It's such a shame I can't alter the order of these troops, isn't it, um, on this particular screen. But I think maybe I'll just feed some through as reinforcements from these when I get these into into position. So, OK, uh, first things first. Let's amalgamate some of these units and then I can be replenishing. So... Okay, I know I'm losing chevrons when I do this, and it irks me. But I want full units. Hang on a minute. Uh, well, no, that's, that's about it, isn't it? I think it is, yeah. Okay, let's do these now. Ah, he's already full. Okay, um, who else? 225, 225, they're all 225s. Okay, so I think that's about it, isn't it, really? Unless I want to play with those, and I don't really, because th they're big enough, those horse units, so I don't need to mess around with those anymore, I don't think. Okay, so there's that unit, and there's that unit there that needs to be uh, replenished. I think all the others are absolutely fine. Let's have a look. Oh, no! There are three. Ah. Well, let's stop that then. Oh no, what happened then? Right. Okay, so that should be a lot less now. Let's see what, well, a lot less, one less. Right, okay, that's good, yeah. So it's, it's one line infantry unit, yeah. One company, um, sorry, um, company infantry, whatever they're called, units, and then we'll, we'll do, the, well, alright, do the horse, I'm not too bothered. I wonder, actually, if I might need another horse unit. I think I do. It's a horse unit I need. Oh, what a mess. Right, okay, right, change of mind about that, and that. Right, and let's have a complete horse unit, then. Oh, they're not, they're not the same type of horse. I've got three different sorts of horse there. Right. I missed that. Sorry about that, folks. <laughs> I'm trying to get... Well, you'll see in a minute what I'm trying to do, anyway. Um, uh, let's get this army into position first. That's the main thing. So I need to get eight to add to this army when I move it up. You see, this army is largely redundant down here. Now this area here is covered by this and this. Um, what I don't want is a gap here where anybody can get through, because I don't want anybody to be getting through those kind of areas. Yeah. OK, so if I move him now into his area there, I don't think he's going to attack me. And the reason I don't think he's going to attack me is because... because I'll have the support of the other army. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think he would. That's excellent news. Okay, so I'm thinking about adding um, a general to these. Am I recruiting in here? Oh, but I will be. <laughs> okay, add the general to these. 
So we've got a general with them. I don't even know why I bother, to be honest, with a general. Does it really help? Does it really improve the morale of the troops? I'm not convinced about it. But anyway, what have I got now? I've got uh, two, four, s I've got seven spaces left now. So if I fill those up with... Um, I, don't, I don't need all these men in here, do I really? Uh, what I actually need is for them to come on as reinforcements only, and nothing else. Uh, right, okay, at the moment it'll be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven coming on. I then rejig the reinforcements, um, because I just lose the order of these troops, won't I? I, I just need to make sure I've got enough horse oh, in go. there, really to be able to cope with it. So I've got a general in there, I've got those... Yeah. Okay, let's give them a horse unit. That's the main thing. I can always move them back again afterwards. That's a full unit, isn't it? So we'll have that unit there. Okay. I just want a couple of horse units, one to cover each flank. See, that's the thing. I've got one there now and I've got one there. So they'll cover the flanks. I need somebody to watch over my artillery for me as well, you see. That's the other thing. Okay, so now all I need is for the remaining six that are going to come on from this arm. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, they'll all be infantry. That's all I need. Okay, so let's go for it now then. Uh, I don't know how interesting this battle is going to be. I don't even want the reinforcements, to be honest. I'm sure they're not going to come on. I'm sure there won't be any point in having them. So, let's go for it anyway. Okay, it's well in my favour. But I would like to chase him off as well with the horse. He's only got one lot of horse, that's just those there. Native Lancers, so that should be pretty good. They've got a good charge bonus though, 25. My goodness, that's good, isn't it? Okay, nothing else there in terms of horse that can do any damage. These are the ones that are going to cause me the biggest problem, I'm afraid, but... Okay, I'm going to go for it. I'll bring you into the battle when we get started. Uh, hmm. Let me just check. Aha! I must get into the habit of doing this check. Um, options. Right, game settings. No limit to the battle. I, I don't care, really. It's going to be over in 20 minutes anyway, but... Okay, we'll accept that. Um, back. Resume game. Right, okay. It's good to get into that habit, isn't it? So that's why I'm showing it. So, Okay, I'll get into the battle, and then y you can watch when it gets interesting. Okay? Okay, battle's started, let the fun begin. Don't know what that is. Just a, oh, reinforcements have only just appeared. Do you know, I clicked into this game, recording it, the very second I clicked off, you know, the deployment screen. So, um, <laughs> that was just amazing that they've dropped straight away. Right, I've got my artillery there, exposed out in the front on their own. I've done that on purpose. The idea is that they're a bit of a honey trap for his cavalry. I'm really rather hoping that his horse are going to come charging in against my... Um, against my artillery. In the meantime, I shall be shelling his artillery with a little bit of luck. I really want the mortars more than anything else. So come on, chaps. Take out the mortars. Yep. Okay, let's see if we get a bit of luck on that. If you um, look back down here, you should see... Oops, where are we? That I have horse here and horse here. Both defending the guns, so if anything comes chasing in towards the horse, uh, to sorry, towards the artillery, I can move them in there. You see, I can charge in with my horse there. Now, I should have some reinforcements coming on now. Here they are. Well, I've got two units. These are the ones I have to watch most carefully, because they're going to be a prime target for his horse, aren't they? Um, where are we? Yeah, okay. Well, he seems to have some troops around here as well, doesn't he? I think I'll bring my reinforcements up against these here, then. Where's the wall? There. Okay. Let's go this way, across the wall, then. Are those his horse? No, they're swordsmen. I'd like, more than anything... Ooh, look at that, going straight towards my men. Oh dear, not very nice. Okay, um... Where are his horse? Where are they? They should be with his artillery somewhere, shouldn't they? Swordsmen. I don't know, mortars. I don't know. Two tangies, whatever they are. I wonder if he's got them concealed. What are they? No, just looked at those. Swordsmen. Musketeers. Musketeers. Swordsmen. 
That means he's got his horse concealed. Right, what's this? Uh, who just... what's that there? Lancers. There they are. Ha! You thought you'd got me, didn't you? Right, let's get these as well. These have got a fantastic charge bonus, these guys, of course. You're going to be, be able to beat this many infantry squares, though. Took him down to 95 from 107. Well, that's got to be good. Right, looks like he's even running into this unit as well. They're fighting him. He can't win in that one. He just can't. The only problem is he's going to break before we have a chance to chase him off. It's broken already. Well, I'm going to chase him off anyway. Because I think there's a chance he might... Oh, he's shattered. Damn, we're not going to catch him, are we? Never mind. I'm not going to be able to do anything with my horse anyway, so I might as well. Ah, look, he's on my main line. He's on my main line. I've taken my eye off the ball, haven't I? Damn. Oof. Hang on, control B. Right, let's get case shot. On control B. That's how you select your artillery, by the way. Oh, is he coming in here? I think he is. Yep. He's coming in there. Is he going to get in? Wavering. Steady. Wavering. No, he's got in, has not he? Oh no, hang on. Wavering still. Come on. Damn, he's staying in, isn't he? Blast. Okay, we'll have to put them on melee attack as well. Okay, anything else actually made contact yet? Nothing at all. Right, guns should be making a bit of a mess of him. Let's get my horse over here doing a bit of damage. I'll, I'll charge into his artillery, of course. Uh, that'll be the best thing to do. In fact, this unit here. I might as well just give it away in the attack on there. In fact, no. I'll send my general in against those to chase those off. It's shattered anyway, but it'd be good, you know, to um, take his troops out. So, okay. They don't need to be on melee. Nor do they need to be on melee. Uh, let's get a bit of flanking fire in here, shall we? Play a little bit more to our own advantage. Whew, it all went a bit quick there, didn't it, for a moment? This is the problem when you've got a, you know, like a, a mixed battlefield. What are they? Swordsmen. He's trying to find a flank, isn't he? Okay, we're not going to give you a flank. Right. Okay. What are my horse to... Oh, ridiculous. You know, basically there's nothing they can do anyway, is there really, on that side? Okay, these chaps here, let's get them out of square. They're just wasted. Uh... Amazing, wasn't it? How quickly his horse appeared. That was um, pretty uh, quick stuff, wasn't it? Okay, why aren't you moving? Right. Okay, chaps. You might just have to get melee attack any minute now. Yep, okay. In fact, we'll charge you, actually. Uh, get a bit more benefit from that, don't we? And we'll charge into the flank with those. And I'll take these all the way over to... He had his unit divided, didn't he? His force divided. Here we are. They're there. Okay, let's get them across here. It's the horse that I want to go across his artillery, really, rather than anything else. They're going across there because I want them to go across his guns. Oh, who was that flashing then? Oh, that wasn't... No, it's him, isn't it? Good. That's excellent. Okay, so the guns should be making a mess of those chaps there, shouldn't they? A little bit of luck. Like they're under fire. Well, I don't mind that. That's okay. You know, they'll be um, making a, a good mess of him over there, I would think. Right, okay, let's get the left flankers in. Uh, we need to go against this... Um, what's he got over there? I think he might have retained some infantry over there with his artillery. Oh, he has. That's a shame, isn't it? Ah, oh, such a shame. He's lost two of those mortars. That's nice, isn't it? 
Okay, right. Um, they're chasing after those. What are these doing? No, oh, I don't want those chasing anybody. What about these? These? No, I'll have these on, on here as well. So let's get all this infantry now together again. Not the horse. Okay, and we'll get those advancing towards these chaps here. Okay, good. So they're doing something useful. Excellent. Oh, they're only wavering, actually, those. Wow, can you believe that? Ha! Look at that, they're coming on now! Oh, amazing! And we've got these to cope with. Well, let's get the left-hand horse to go in against them. Okay, and the right-hand horse... Uh, they're not doing anything useful, are they? So, can they come against these? I think so. Okay. It'll be interesting to see if fire and attack works, won't it? I think it doesn't. Look. Nope. Yeah, not fire and attack. Fire and advance. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. The horse have gone in now, so it doesn't matter, does it? So, I don't know where they were going. Probably here, weren't they? Yeah, I would imagine so. Okay, they've probably shot into the side of my own horse now, aren't they? How stupid was that, hey? Broken. Right, good. Okay, so we'll continue the attack there. Um, who are those? Shattered. Swordsmen. Mm, not too bothered about those. I am a little bit concerned about where these are lining up, though. They should be lining up... That's right, in front of there. That's good, isn't it? Yep, OK. Now, a bit of luck. They'll take those musketeers out there. Um, I really need my horse, my right-hand horse, yeah, to attack those guns there. But I don't know where they're going to go in order to get there, so let's have a look at them. Right, they're the right-hand ones. They're shattered, so I don't need to worry about those. Uh yeah. What I do need... ...is those guns out of the way, but I don't want my men to fall in on those there. Um, I think I might have to run those, you know. Otherwise the horse are going to be... ...in the firing line too quickly. In fact, they're going to get there anyway, aren't they? OK, bring them over this way. And then around towards the, um, the artillery, I think. OK, what are the left-hand horse doing now? Probably doing nothing. Yep, just drawing fire by the look of it, I think. Well, let's um, chase somebody off. Might as well. Uh, they're not doing much else, are they? In fact, no, we'll get the general to chase those off. Right, and we'll get these to chase these off. Cause at least they're moving, though, you see. So they're not quite so susceptible to the mortar fire. OK, um... What are we doing over here now? Still running in. Cool, what formation's he in? Huh. He's supposed to be getting in that formation anyway, so... Okay. Come on, are we nearly there, chaps? Are we nearly there? We want to be taking these out here, really. Right, left-hand musketeers. Anywhere near the artillery. Artillery's there, darn it. I think we're going to have no choice. We're going to have to hit his infantry from the side there. It's going to be the only way. They're going to be very tired. Uh, but we're going to have to do it. Um, what? Oh, I was going to say, let's see how the other side are doing. But maybe if we get a good flank attack on there, it might disturb them. Right. Fighting cavalry, so they're concerned. Uh, two fangies, whatever they are. Right, I've still got 78 out of 90. He's losing men. Oh, I am too. Right. Wow, it says they're encouraged because they're charging. Well, that's nonsense, isn't it? They're now losing slightly. What are they doing with their guns there now? 
Not sure. Let's see what the right hand cavalry are doing, see if they can come and give them uh, a little help. Um, uh, nothing at all. Right. So let's have those then into here. <laughs> Taking out that mortar. Right, okay, let's get my guns now limbered up. I don't want them causing any problems. Um, it looks like all my foot have just stopped now on the field. Oh, I don't know what they're doing. Let's find that right hand cavalry again just to make sure that they're not going to cause a problem here. No, they're not, are they? Okay, should be okay there then. Right, so it's a case of now just taking out that artillery, isn't it? This is where I need another horse unit, really. I think what we're going to have to do, chaps, I have to put in a charge. Okay. I'm going to charge his artillery with my foot. That's going to be a bit bloody. <laughs> I'm hoping with his guns pointing this way, we might have a chance. Right, he's firing elsewhere. Is he going to turn his guns? It looks like he is. Is he going to turn those guns? My boys are going to be very tired, but there are 225 of them and we're doing nothing but charge a battery. Damn, I just want to look at what these are doing because they stopped, but I daren't. Um, let's get them in there because they're doing nothing else, aren't they? These are still fighting, but they're fighting nobody. Ah, did they fire? They didn't fire at those. Oof. Oh no! Come on, boys, get them! Get them quick! Come on, boys, get on them quick! No! <laughs> We're going to get there. Yes, come on! Oh, oh, point blank! Now, 215, we lost 10. That's not bad at all, is it, really? Good lads. That's bravery for you, isn't it, eh? Yeah, bravery, running across a battlefield like that into into grape shot. You know, I mean that is just amazing courage, I think. Amazing courage. Right now let's go and have a look. This is the problem when you're uh, recording a battle. You tend to take your eye off the ball. Oh look, it's a full unit there, they've gone in against. And look at that, they're struggling. That's because I'm not concentrating. That was very silly of me really. It really was. Okay, get all of those out of there and then advance these on there. You see what I've done normally, don't, don't you, of course? I mean, they would have just done, just hit the at key and get those moving forwards. Yeah, that was really, really silly of me. Really silly. Okay, and get those to run that. Get these out of the way. Yeah, I wanted to play with the guns, didn't I? I was having fun. Oh, I don't know. I don't like wasting men's lives like that, but, you know. Oh no, I've even lost my horse! Can you believe I've actually lost my horse? That is such a nuisance. Well, that's what you get for, you know, watching things. Taking your eye off the ball. What a nuisance. Right, okay. This is what we should have done, and this is what we're about to do. Okay, you're going to get hit by every at every angle at once. You are so going to suffer for blowing away my horse. Oh, okay. has he got anything else on here? Oh no, look! Got those as well. I just have not been concentrating at all, have I? Really have taken my eye off the ball here.
Okay. Oh, is he going now? Right, did they actually leave the... I think they came back on, you know. Oh, I'll just end battle. Heroic victory. Yeah, it didn't feel like it. I think I was um, glory hunting there, really, wasn't I? I was just having fun. That was, I, I wouldn't take that as a serious battle, folks. There's no way, if I wasn't on camera, there's no way I'd do it like that. Absolutely no way. I'd have paused it, moved over to the end of the battlefield and sorted it out that way. There's absolutely no way I'd have lost that many men. Uh, okay. The main thing is... Do you know, he's still got 340 remaining as well. That's just ridiculous. There is no way on God's green earth he'd have got that many men away from that battle. Absolutely no way. Oops. Now, what I'd like to do now is build a fort with those men somewhere. I'd like to cover these areas here so nobody can get through. But you can never tell which areas that you can build a fort on. That's something that irks me a bit. It really is. Um, I think... You see, they've got to go as well, haven't they? I think we're going to have to come out of here and attack him. Even if I only bring them partially out and then move them back in again. I'm not too sure, but... Uh, what is that he's in? No building. Okay. Um, Mm, see, do I need to be more positive? Think about moving forward? Or do I defend and build a fort in there and build up my numbers and build up my armies? See, my, my approach normally would be to ca be cautious and to build a fort around here so that there's no way any armies can get in through this way. In fact, a string of forts would be rather nice. I'm expecting to close in that way, so that will be closed up. And this will be closed up as well. I think maybe I should get rid of him first and then make my decision. That's probably the best idea, isn't it, really? Now, can anything cross there? They can't. They can get around there, can't they? Is any is there anything there? That's the other thing. Um, if there was something there, I wouldn't be able to see it. Uh, problems. Uh, he could have a, an army anywhere around there or even here that could come round here, you see that all that distance there? He could be in any of those dark areas there and come round and attack me there. Take my... Uh, my whole place. Right, okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to come out part of the way. Like that. Up to... say, there. Yeah. Okay. Then what I'll do is I'll just take a few horse units forward and wipe him out and then move back. Yep. Okay. Auto resolve that. Still lost a few. <coughs> shouldn't have done really. Okay. And now we can get back, can't we? Actually, I moved horse units. I shouldn't have done really, should I? Um. Now. A temptation is to move up here and consolidate this bridge, so I can then move in from there. But he can cross in other places, and I really don't know what he's got at all. Uh, if I were to cover the crossings, though, so he can't... He can get across there, and he has done. He's got him to face. Or them to face. There's only him blocking anything else coming that way. I really need to occupy that area there. Defeat him, and occupy that area there. So maybe that's what they need to do. I need that army, perhaps supported by a couple of... No, none of them. Oh yeah, they might just get a little bit of support from a couple there. Um, actually, they'll get support from here. In fact, that army is the one that could do it. What I need to do is drive him out of there, and then occupy the crossing area. Now I think that there is the crossing area, isn't it? Because that's where they're going across. And the other crossing area is over here. If I occupy those two areas, he should not then be able to get through, but I'd have to clear him out of there as well. <laughs> oh, great. Um, can't reach there. Can't reach there. Um, hmm. Decisions, decisions. Do I now risk leaving this area completely? Ah. <sighs> 
got about four or five in there, hasn't it? Is that going to be enough? I just I, I have very poor intelligence of this area. I really do. Um, I could move those three in there to hold it. I could also scout with these. Right, let's scout with a Dragoon unit. Okay. Let's see what's up there. Well, there's nothing close, anyway. Uh, I wonder if a Dragoon unit can get up there as well. Can't quite reach, can it? I could do one there just to see over there as well. Right, nothing there. Let's bring a few. Let's bring these few, these three, over to here to occupy this place. Along with a garrison of what? Four. So, I mean, that should give me about seven or eight there. One, two, three, four, five plus the three is eight in there. That's excellent. And these here could occupy that place there along especially if they move to there first but I still need to clear those out and it's who can clear those out it has to be these doesn't it so I think it's got to be these that clear those and these that clear those it's gonna be a massive advantage over that one isn't it <laughs> really is. In that case, that army then would be completely redundant and I wouldn't need to build any forts. It's just a complete waste of time. If I occupy all those areas there, I shouldn't need any forts. What I do need, though, is something to cover this gap here. I wonder if I gave them a general, could I build a fort in there? Nope. Well, let me build one. Blast. That would have been quite good, wouldn't it? Uh, another Dragoon unit. Dragoon unit over here? Um, I just don't know. Even if I did, I wouldn't have enough men to be able to defend it, would I? So... <sighs> decisions, decisions. Um, I think they're going to have to occupy that bridge. And I think these here are going to have to occupy that bridge. And I think these here are going to have to occupy that bridge. So it's going to be a series of battles, and it's which ones make the most logical sense. And it would be good to have troops coming on as reinforcements for others that are coming from behind. Uh, okay. be interesting to know where he would retreat to if he got away. Right, I think they've got to go first. Can they be supported by, say, the horse or anything from here? So they're going to be going in without any horse at all. Ah, there are three horse from there that aren't needed elsewhere. Maybe they're the ones that'll make the difference. Have these got horse? Yes. <sighs> okay, um... Ah, they'll reach further. Hmm. My dilemma, sorry about this messing around here, folks, but my dilemma is, I seem to have been going all over the place, don't I? But if I lose one of these battles, um, how would I be able to pull it back? Which troops would I use in order to pull back that situation? And I think it would be these, so it depends which I go for first. I'm tempted to go here first, and if I lose, then take those in. The reality is, reinforcing troops don't get onto the battlefield anyway. The chances are they'll be quite badly depleted from actions they've been in before. What I don't know is who's in there, because like I said, I have poor intelligence, and it won't tell me anything about that place at all. I know nothing. He could have a massive army in there, ready to counter-attack me straight away. Um, I think it's without doubt, though, that this army have to be involved in an attack on there and that army 
have to come on in rein as reinforcements in an attack on that unit there as well. Okay, and we're going to have to rely on that unit there defending. So I'll just get a couple of more of those in there just to make sure we're okay there. And you see, I really want him to occupy this point here. Okay, this army's going to defend here. Okay. And still, I can't see what's in there. Oh, I can now. Right, so he hasn't got any men at all in there. Excellent. He's earning 293. His population's fairly happy. Um, in fact, he's got resistance for, to foreign occupation because I'm there. He's only got two units in there, so that's nothing. There's absolutely no way that's going to be able to take me on. I might just have to um, retire from that situation, you know, just run away if he comes towards me, but that's not a problem. Now, these can be involved in the action. Right, OK, so let's get these in, then. Oh, I can't get these in. What am I thinking of? I can bring them on as reinforcements, though, can't I, to these? Yeah but not the guns. I think it's just the men without the guns, isn't it? Right. It's not even that. I think I even have to take the horse out. I don't know who can reach. It's hard to work this out. Right, not him. So basically it's the foot can get there. Okay. Let's get the foot as close to there as possible. I'm hoping they're going to come on now as reinforcements. I'm hoping they will as well. Right, they should now cover that bridge. A little bit of luck, they'll come on as reinforcements. What I don't want is for them to come on as reinforcements in that battle as well. I should have two units to attack him there. Um, will I be able to get to the bridge afterwards? I'm sure I will. Right, OK. Uh, OK, not full units, but not bad. These are the ones where I'm replenishing, aren't they? Um, right. Artillery and all sorts in here. These are the good boys. OK, let's have these. Attacking him there. Ah, he hasn't gone for me. So, he obviously feels as though I've got the advantage. Oops, hang on a minute, let's just check. So I've got 11, right, so nine places to fill. I think they should be with infantry, really, shouldn't they? Yep. Um, one, two, three. Hang on, that's a 214. That's a 222. Uh, how many 225 units have I got in here? There's one. Uh, there's two. There's three. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Let's add though. Cool, they're going a long way around. Not too happy about that, that they went all that way around. OK, so I'm hoping when I attack these now that these won't be able to come on and help them or if so, they'll be nullified by that force there. OK, and then afterwards I can... no, these. I can use these horse here to engage those with support from these. Uh, that's the general plan anyway. Oh, goodness knows what I'm going to do with those now. I really don't know. I'll have to have a think about that. Uh, I'm silly, really, not to bring those... In fact, they can attack there. In fact, they could join that force there, couldn't they? And so, mm. oh. Right, anyway. Uh, I think I should see... He's got a good force in there. And he's got a full 20, hasn't he? Could be an interesting battle to watch, but I'm up to 54 minutes, so there won't be time to put that on this video. And maybe just show highlights, but they are depleted. It would be interesting. I'd love to know how depleted those units are. Are they one of those that attacked me before and therefore now are pretty rubbish? I just do not know. I have no idea. I don't know why it's showing me all that. 
Come on. Show me more about you, please. How do I see more? <sighs> Come on, I can't see a thing. Right. Okay, it's a it's a one on one battle then, isn't it? I'll just have to show highlights because I've only got um, five minutes left of this video. Okay, so I have to go in and then, well, let's see what we've got first. Yeah. Okay, so it's it's in my favour. Two thousand eight hundred and twenty-five. I've got three thousand five hundred, so I've got seven hundred advantage over him. Oh, he's got one elephant in there. That's all he's got. Wow. Um, he's got one gun in there that's depleted. It's only got seven men in there. He's going to come charging in at me, isn't he? All his units look depleted, but they'll be good at uh, melee attack. That's the thing. They'll get charge bonuses and all sorts of things, I imagine. Well, some of them will anyway. Uh, these are just... What are they? Bowmen. Well, I haven't got much faith in those, I'm afraid. Right. Okay, right. I, I'll get into the battle, and then um, if, if something exciting happens, then I'll show you, but I, I'm going to have to uh, devote only a few minutes to this battle, because otherwise... Um, there won't be enough time to complete this video either, as well as the, the last one, which is a problem for me. Okay. Okay, I'm only going to be able to show a bit of this battle, I'm afraid. Um, I just had to extend this side of my line because it'd have outflanked me otherwise. Other than that, I'm firing shrapnel shot from my mortars over at him in order to try and coax him into charging me. He's got nothing he can hit me back with, so basically I'm just killing him without him being able to hit back. Until the point when he's going to... Um, decide that he's going to have to go forward because he's losing too many men. Uh, I've got it on a, you know, endless battle basically. So you can imagine what this battle is going to be like. Um, I, I don't know how many he's lost already here, but um, 209 out of 242. There's musketeers I'm going for there. Over the other side, I'm going for dervishes. I don't know why there's a gap there. It's a very suspicious gap, that isn't it? And look at that, just one elephant that he's got there. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at that. Uh, there he is. It's that one solitary elephant over there. He's got camel gunners, he's got all sorts of troops that he can bring forward, perhaps trying to find a flank as well, but um, we'll see what he comes up with, but um, I can't really see how he can have a great deal of success here, so long as I keep an eye on um, his horse suddenly coming charging in. Um, I don't know where his dervishes have gone, but I, I did target his dervishes. I wonder what, maybe that's why one of the gaps are there, because he's moved the dervishes back. Ah, now there are his artillery. Now they just couldn't come on now as reinforcements, I'm not too sure, but I'm going to target that artillery if I can. I couldn't see it before, so I didn't go for it. Oh, there it is. Let's have that. Okay. Um, once they're gone, by the way, and he sees that'll be why he's not attacking. I didn't realise that. Once they're gone... Um, he'll think, oh crikey, um, the only way we're going to be able to engage this enemy now um, is by charging him. And that's when he'll come rushing forward. And that's where my superior firepower will make the difference. I'm absolutely certain of it. Looks like somebody might be thinking about having a go over here. Now they're probably going to disappear soon, more than likely. Now it looks like some horse are coming in here now, camels. They could be the ones that were defending his artillery before. So whichever's the closest horse, they're the ones that are going to take him when he gets somewhere near. There you go, there he is. Okay, we want to be able to get a shot in as well, of course. Well, maybe this horse... No, no, these, I think. Okay. We should shoot him to pieces there anyway, but... Just in case... Why are we charging? He didn't move. Oh, they're broken anyway, so that's okay. Oof! Look at that! He got a good shot in there, didn't he? Um, right, okay, well that's one gone. Oh, they're shattered as well. So that's one of them out of the game. So you get a really good idea how this one's going to go. I'll show you the results at the end. You can imagine exactly... Oh, he's coming on now in force, isn't he? So I'll show you the results. Okay, there you can see the results. Um, only 123 loss. He did really well out of that, but I went charging after him as soon as he started to break and broke as many of his units as I possibly could at once. Anyway, there are the overall statistics. Again, don't know how real they are because um, it, I... I basically attacked him as soon as his units started to go and broke all of the others, so I wasn't keen on um, chasing everybody off the battlefield and I did do an end battle. So, right, okay, oh, that was my fear. I was worried that he'd do that, that he'd get away. In fact, whoops, I don't know where he's got. oh he's only got away to there. I think we can get him there, you know, but we won't then be able to go there, will we? What a nuisance. Right, okay, well, I'm pretty sure this one, not this one, not that one either. 
I'm pretty sure this one, if they can reach... It's not them either, is it? These here, if they can reach, are going to be just an auto-resolve. With a bit of luck, they'll be engaged as well, and I'll have loads and loads of other reinforcements that'll come in to help me out with it. Oh no, his other men aren't becoming involved. Hey, look! No reinforcements are coming in. Well, I'm going to have to do it. Huh. Oh, good. They're ones that have been defeated before, aren't they? So maybe that's what gave me the advantage there. But, crikey. That really surprised me there. I was expecting... I really was expecting there that... Hang on a minute. Why have I got these spare now? Uh, what's happened there? I thought I needed another large unit to attack him somewhere. But I don't, do I? Uh, have I just been overly cautious again? Yeah, I probably have. Or maybe I haven't defended that bridge in the way that I should do. Oh, I don't have no idea now. I'm losing track of who's who and where. <laughs> um, oh, I think I made a mistake here. I don't think I should have used those. Um, I could reinforce that place with those, couldn't I? Certainly could. And I could use the troops in this fort, that's now redundant of course, to auto-resolve a battle against those, which I'm going to do, definitely. They go a funny way around, don't they? Auto-resolve that, murder him. Okay, now with a bit of luck, they'll be able to join someone else as well. Yes, they can. In fact, they can now defend there. Can they join them? Yes. Brilliant. In fact, they can defend there on their own. Don't need anybody else. Okay, let's get those then up into that position there. Get out of my way. Why on earth did I put him there? That was such a silly mistake, putting him there. It really was. Okay, so the other crossing point is way over here somewhere. That's there. He's got that one well covered. That crossing point is not well covered at all. Ah. Uh, and I can't get anything there, can I? Hmm. No. Okay. What I can do... I don't think I've planned this as well as I thought, really. Well, I didn't think I was planning it well when I did it, to be honest. <laughs> um, I think what I'll do is I'll bring these across to here, because this is now the weak point. Over to here. Crikey, where are they going? They go a real convoluted way around, don't they? Right, okay. I've got to prepare myself for some dragoons. Uh, being routed next turn, or, well, withdrawing anyway. <laughs> Tactical withdrawal, we'll call it. Uh, right, okay, so that's covered pretty well. Got room for another four, if I can get them in there. Anybody? No, nope, nobody at all. Nobody? Nope. Uh... What on earth? What on earth was that? That was stupid, that's what that was. Let's put him in there then. Oh, I can't even get in there now, what a mess. Oh dear, um, silly mistake. It's still on green though. I I'll have to check all these, make sure they're all on green. I'll have to repair these buildings as well of course. And where are we now? Okay. I think I'm just going to have to accept that. Yeah. Okay, and these can't move yet, can they? Nope. Okay, I think that's it. So what, what I'm going to do now is just repair all of these buildings here and then decide what I'm going to do in other parts of, um, well, in other parts of the globe, really, in Europe, you know. So let's get rid of trade game. Thank you. Trade gain, thank you, and trade gain, thank you, and trade gain. Yes, thank you very much. I know I can right-click on those to get rid of them. I might just upgrade some of these buildings as well I've got in here. What's happening here now? What's being repaired? Okay, I'll go around all of these buildings. Not that one, of course. 
get them repaired, get any others built up because they're now safe, or ought to be safe. I can't see any other enemy in this area now. I think I've driven him out everywhere. Um, Ceylon should be bringing some more troops over soon that we can dump behind his lines in a kind of paratroop motion. Um, and I'm hoping this area here is all free of the enemy. Better be. You see, that... That's... He, c he could be hiding anywhere in any of those territories, couldn't he? Because I should be able to see... No, I can see all my own territory, surely. He can't be anywhere there. No, no, he'd have to be in this dark area here, wouldn't he, to do anything at all? Which I suppose is conceivable. Anyway, look, I, I've gone on far too long. I've cleared those armies back, which was my original intention. And um, I'll go around now, um, re repairing all the buildings, building up any buildings, um, and then start the next video, um, probably with either an end turn or um, the beginning of my European movements um, down to the south and southeast. Might even consider a bit of diplomacy and see if we can, you know, cause somebody to go to war with us in um, in Western Europe somewhere. Okay, thanks for watching. Oh, I'm sorry that was a bit bitty, really, because th there was nothing easy about that, about how to arrange these. They didn't seem to slot into uh, nice positions, so apologies for that. Um, and I know it is still a little bit messy as well there, and I'm very much hoping that this is going to be strong enough. I expect they will, they will withdraw into here, and that he won't have anything near enough to be able to threaten this area here. He might try punching through into this territory here. If he does, I'll have to bring some Ceylon troops over um, through one of these ports here and see if I can back things up that way. I'm certainly going to need recruits in these sort of areas, just in case. Um, two, three... And then, what, a couple of horse units, general horse units. Yeah, OK, I think that's it in there. I'll do that now. Um, and then bring some more over from Ceylon. So if anything does head that way, I'm going to have, what, five in there. Um, I know I've got horse in there, but you know, it's just in case I need to go out and attack somebody to prevent him moving round into another territory. Because if he comes through here and heads that way, he's going to be hoping to punch through here, isn't he? And I really need, you know, to, to get some... You know, some some horse units and infantry units in after him and chase him off. You know, but um, anyway, we'll see what happens.